Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back to a new card making video. Today I'm going to play with new stamps and dies that have just been released from the Stamp Club by Tonic Studios. This is a new collection of stamps and dies that they will be released every last Friday of each month. You don't have to subscribe, you just check out the new designs and if you like them you can grab them. The stamp set this month is called Party Animals, it gives you loads of sentiments, perfect for birthdays and parties. There are a couple of hippos, a couple of elephants, there is something hiding under the label, which is a little turtle. You will also find loads and loads of bits and pieces that you can uh, stamp and color to create little scenes like balloons, butterflies, little hats, party hats, even a cake, a cupcake, birdies, super adorable. Now I haven't repackaged anything, this is how the stamp comes to you. It's coming inside that uh, lovely plastic with the holes at the sides, so you can uh, store it in a ring binder. And I'm going to show you later on my way of storing all these stamps and dies. Along with the stamp, you will also get the matching dies. This is a bundle, so both of them are coming together. Now you will find in the die set all the dies that you need to cut out pretty much every image on the stamp set plus you will get a couple of big dies that are perfect for creating lovely scenes. So here is a large die that cuts out grass. Notice that it is quite wide so you can use it in any orientation on your card vertically or horizontally. And here is another die again really large that you can use to create your clouds. Now use these as dies to create different pieces to stick on your card or use them to create your very own stencils. So that was the party animal bundle of stamps and dies for this month, but this month especially they did uh, came up with a die set that you can grab if you like, that gives you tons and tons of dies. This is called banners and strips and it is perfect for die cutting all your sentiments. Now this die set comes with, if I count it correctly, 28 dies and uh, I think it's one of those die sets that you will be using again and again for die cutting your sentiment strips and sticking them on top of your cards. And the whole die set retails for just $15. I think it is a great value for money, especially since you can use this again and again throughout the year. And here is my favorite, a lovely banner that has a couple of inserts where you can stamp your sentiments and pop them on top. I think just for this design it really worth the money. So anyway, I'm going to show you now how I like to store them just because they have those uh, envelopes, the plastic ones with the holes on the side. I did grab one of those ring binders. This provides a great way to organize your stamps and dies. I like that on the side you can label it. And if you feel that the, the dies or the stamps that you store inside may fall out, then there is a zipper that you can uh, close completely all around. I got this light blue color because it matches with the rest of the decoration on my craft room, but it also comes in orange. I like this color because it matches perfectly with that speckled egg color by Tim Holtz, which I absolutely love. When you get this ring binder, you will find inside six plastic envelopes where you can add your stamp sets to organize them. And uh, they are nice and sturdy. They do have a tab on top where you can easily use one of the stickers included to label them. And this does not only come with the stickers, the plastic envelopes, but it also gives you six magnetic panels. These are magnetic in both sides, so you can add lots and lots of dies and store them there. They fit perfectly fine inside those envelopes. And you can easily store in just one envelope the stamp set, as well as all the matching dies in one of those magnetic panels. So I'm going to place everything inside last month and this month. And I'm going to leave the dies as they are, so I can save my magnetic uh, panels for storing something else. So for today I'm going to use stamps and dies from the Party Animal bundle and I'm going to create a super cute card. I started by die cutting the clouds out of white as well as the grass out of green cardstock. And note that when you use this grass die you can use both pieces up and down. You can layer one on top of the other to have an extra fluffy grass if you want to for extra dimension. However I'm going to use just one of those pieces for now. And I have here a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half, so you can see how wide they are. They can fit both orientations, either you decide to go vertically or horizontally. 
However, I'm going to work on a very small panel for my card today, so I'm going to chop off lots of it. I am going to use glue at the back of my clouds and stick it down. And then on top, I'm going to add the grass. For the grass, I decided to go with foam tape at the back to add some dimension. And I use my large scissors to cut out everything that sticks out to have a nice and neat panel. You can build up your clouds if you like, I decided to leave it as it is. And here are all the images that I decided to go with. I stamped and colored them with my alcohol markers and then used the matching dies to cut them out. Now I'm mainly focusing on how I put this card together and on the card design rather than on how I did all the coloring. Use your favorite coloring medium, whether it is alcohol markers, colored pencils or even watercolors. I popped the elephant using foam tape at the back and by adding that tiny little bow it makes her super cute. Now I'm going to pick one of the sentiments and I decided to go with the one that says let's party which I am going to stamp on a piece of white uh, cardstock and then I'm going to use one of uh, the dies from the banners and strips die set to cut it out. And you have such a big variety there, so I'm sure you will always find something that fits with the size of your sentiment. I'm going to pop that on top, and when I placed that just on top of the balloon string, I decided that I didn't like where that birdie was, so I'm going to place him just on top of the sentiment to nest him somehow with the rest of the elements. And as I was playing with that tiny little heart that I didn't know where to place it in the beginning, I decided that it would look super cute on top of the balloon. Now this panel is going to go on top of a pre-folded card that's four and a quarter by five and a half, so a standard card size. And of course you can use foam tape at the back if you like to pop it, but I already have some dimension at the front of this panel, so I want to avoid making it super bulky. Now you can call this card done, or if you are like me and you like details, you can make it extra special. So with a very thin black pen, I'm giving her some eyelashes. And you can even add a couple of black dots on her eyes using your Nouveau Drops. I'm going to leave the eyes as they are, but I am going to add some shine with my shimmer pen on her bow as well as on the heart. There is a blog hop showcasing this bundle of stamps and dies, so make sure to visit my blog, you will find there all the details as well as how you can enter the giveaways. Here are some close-up photos on the card that I made for today. Everything I used is linked down below in the description area, just like always. Thank you all so much for joining me today, I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired, and until next time, stay safe!